God is interested in causing you to progress in life, to move forward. And for that, He gives us promises of open doors. But with every door, there's a key that comes. And I'm handling different keys to the doors of God's promise for progress in our lives. So I want to speak about the key of action. And it's interesting in our key scripture in Revelation 3, verse 7 and 8, that Jesus says to the church, I know your works. It's interesting for me, particularly, that he doesn't say, I know your thoughts. And for me, that's because of his intention for us never just to have um, knowledge about something, but actually to translate what he says into deeds. It's said that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. It's shocking to say that, but there's truth in it. Good intentions could get blurred by the pressures of life. And God wants us to operate on a higher level, where the revelation He gives becomes our conviction and results in an actions that, that actually would mean something and translate into change in our lives. James the Apostle said that faith without works is dead. Therefore, if we just say, I believe, I believe, I believe it, uh, and never act on it, it leads to an impotence of faith, dead faith. It brings forth nothing. But revelation from God, things He says to us, calls for action. We've got to be doers of the Word. I many times think that Christians that receive more and more and more revelation and, and learn things without acting on it become like bullfrogs. Uh, they have large voices and they have a lot to say, but they don't move around a lot and they don't accomplish much. It's a, the prayer of my heart. Lord, help us not to become bloated with revelation, just sitting around and exchanging wisdom with one another. But let us actually move on revelation. Jesus said, I know your works. And following that, in verse 7 and 8 of Revelation 3, he speaks about open doors. Because of your works, because of your action, I put open doors before you. Because your doing of my word actually is the key that opens those doors of promise. You move forward on revelation and therefore God says, every time that I give you something to do, you did it. And when you do what I tell you to do, when I say forgive, you forgive. When I say give, you don't ask why, but you give. It actually means that God will cause you to receive a key and it will unlock the next door and the next door through which you can move forward. Please note today just that knowing a lot but not doing a lot is no good. Some of us camp in front of the open doors of promise but it still requires a key of doing to actually be turned into that door and cause it to swing open. It's when we do God's word when we timelessly act on His Word, that the doors swing open. So let's not tolerate procrastination and develop a quick response time to what God says. In contemporary language, be a Nike person. Just do it when God says it. I trust that this Word will encourage you. and Please share it with others to also be able to move forward with God through open doors. God bless you.